Okay, so we're gonna document our little experiment here. I should have cut it before, or should have filmed it before we, we cut off the top of the tree, but we have a pecan tree here. Don't, don't break the branch. And this tree, I don't know, it's probably, it's probably about six years old. What's that? How much and is that? And it's been you? growing. We don't know what kind it is. It's a seedling of some variety, but uh, we're gonna graft in the tree here. So back there in the back, those are hundred year old pecan trees and they produce paper shell. And um, Elijah, watch out for the chainsaw down there. And so what we're gonna do, I uh, saw this on the YouTubes. We're gonna try it out. We have got a piece of, it's called cyan wood. And uh, this is off of the tree in the backyard. We're gonna graft it in. Some of y'all have done this before probably. And um, so I'm gonna get Nate, you hold that. Kind of show you what we're doing here. So we're just kind of carving around the top here making it smooth and then try not to cut our finger while we film it. Let me get, Lydia, you think you can film without? All right, see. So just wanna kinda clean it up a little bit. is to have confidence and act like you know what you're doing. <laughs> like you do. I watched a couple of YouTube videos on this and now I'm acting like I'm an expert. Yeah, I can But tell. I figured this would be cool to document and see. Girl, your finger's all in front of the video. Not right now. Well, don't, don't put your hand in front of it. I thought it'd be cool to document this though. We'll see how this tree turns out. After you killed it? Well, that's why I left these branches. So we left these <laughs> branches, they're called nurse branches, so that this doesn't die when we do this process. And so we're gonna take this and, can you, are you filming me? Yep. All right, I need you to make sure you're, you're getting all this. So you're gonna take, I'm gonna cut the bottom of this off just cause it's, Kind of trying not to cut my finger or my children. Mm -hmm. Your finger wouldn't be as, uh, could be replaced, but us. So basically, you're going to cut about halfway down and you're trying to make it as straight as possible. You're going to go about halfway into the piece of wood. kind of making a wedge out of it and then on the back side you're doing the same thing so you're can I hold it all right can I hold the thing never done this before so we kind of have we need a little bit flatter a little bit more of a Kind of got a little wedge going on there. And I think we're gonna do this side. And we're gonna put it up here and you're tracing along the outside and creating a flap. And why don't you give it to Nate so he can look at sure, the top since of the he's you can see you see the the inner piece of the wood and the bark. We're cool, creating a cut. Hey, how about don't get underneath me in case my knife slips? 
I don't have the best knife. This is just a razor blade, but. So how can I see it? Yes, you can see. Okay. Oh, the black kind of thing. Yeah. Do you want me to get mine? True, she does have a sharper knife. No, Beth Hannah has a sharper knife. We're just going to kind of peel it up here at the top. It's a horticultural class, right? this on another tree before I've decided to film it. What tree will you have done it on? I don't know. See that's why you did it like this. I'm trying not to break off that little little bit that we have there. So now that's in there. I thought we were gonna. Alright. Now, where is my tin pole at? Oh, Roger, we can have it. So that kind of holds it in there. And then. Then we're taking this and putting it around here to try and seal it so the neighbors can ask questions. Why <laughs> uh, oh, you got a piece of tin foil on your tree like that? So people can ask questions. All right, I need to cut the corner of the bag out. What is that for? This is going to help seal it. it it's it's kind of like the idea of a greenhouse, all the moisture stays in here, it keeps this grass from drying out, and it also protects it, so that comes over the, the tree. We're filming. And my shoes on there. Now, where's my duct tape, or my, give me that black tape. And... Too. All right, Bethany, why don't you pull this down for me? Give me one, please. Wrap that around there. Do the same thing. Not sure what this method's called. It's got a name. Grafting. Well, this, there's certain <laughs> techniques. Tinfoil hat method. And then the other thing we're going to do is cut this off with some sheer clippers and put some Elmer's glue on the top. But I don't have my clippers, so I'm not going to show that on the video. But we'll update you Remember? as our tree grows. Are these clippers? Eventually, one of these trees is going to have to. To be cut down. We got that one over there, and we've got this one's dying, so we'll cut it down probably. But I don't know. We got if you you know how long these things take. We got a while. If nothing else, we've got a cool stick tree. All right. 